Hey guys, this is Real Low Bermuda bringing you another lawn care video. Today we're going to talk about the spring scalp and why you do it and how it helps you have the best lawn on the block. All right, so uh, we're gonna first uh, take a look at kind of what I've done with my lawn and talk about it, and then we're gonna talk about the alternative. Uh, so a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I scalped my lawn down uh, to just over four tenths of an inch, so four, uh, 45 hundredths, and plan on maintaining this season a height of cut at six tenths of an inch. We're gonna see how that works. Last year I was at seven tenths of an inch. We're gonna go down a little shorter this year. So right now, the lawn was just mowed yesterday for the first time this season, and it is at six tenths of an inch. It'll have to be mowed again probably tomorrow because uh, the grass is finally starting to grow. And you can kind of see that uh, we're over 50% green up maybe getting closer to 75% green up. Um, and the lawn is, is looking decent, right? Far from uh, where I'd like for it to be, but that's what you have to deal with in the springtime is uh, you got a lot of brown going on. And so today we're gonna talk about why, why do we cut it down so low? And what's the purpose of scalping it down to four tenths of an inch if I'm going to maintain it at six tenths of an inch? And how low should you go in order to achieve benefits? All right, so we're going to take a look at my lawn here on the side and my neighbor's lawn. And we're going to talk about the scalping process and what happens if you do it versus if you don't do it. And so if you look here at my neighbor's lawn, uh, typical, typical lawn, uh, he... Uh, Hasn't got around yet to um, to doing a lot of work yet because everything's just started greening up. But uh, last year he started uh, doing a really good job trying to uh, tackle this lawn. Uh, but I want to show you kind of the height that he keeps it at versus the height I keep it at and the difference of what that will make. All right, so I've taken this sample here from uh, just the side of his lawn. You can kind of see uh, right now this grass is between three and four inches at the tallest. It's it's four and let's say that you're the typical homeowner and you want to keep it maintained at about three inches, right? So uh, the grass grows up to about four inches and you're like, okay, I need to mow the lawn. Um, and you cut off, you know, the top. And what happens is you're left with a bunch of this brown. Every time you mow, you're technically scalping the lawn, right? If you cut anything more than a third off, you're gonna get more of that more of that brown so if this is four inches um, or let's say if it was three inches right let's say it's three inches and you want to maintain it at two inches um, so you cut off a third you cut off an inch which is the rule right cut off no more than a third um, and then you're still left with all this brown even at the one-third rule um, and the, what happens is with Bermuda grass, and this is all Bermuda grass, no matter how tall or how short, only about the top half is going to be green, sometimes the top third, um, but the, definitely the top, the, the bottom half is going to be brown. You can kind of see that right there. Mostly brown, just the tips are green. That's the way Bermuda grows. And so every time you mow, if you're mowing down into that brown, you're gonna expose that with every mow, and it's not gonna look great. It also puts stress on the lawn, uh, stress on the grass, and that, that hurts it during the summer as well. So here's what happens. In the, in the spring, right about now, you wanna take the mower that you have, doesn't matter what mower you have, doesn't have to be fancy at all. 
take whatever motor you have and you're going to drop it down as low as it will go. If it goes down to an inch, drop it down to an inch. And so what happened is you're going to cut into all this brown, right? And that's all that you're going to have left. You're just going to have nothing but brown left. That's okay. Well then, so let's say you cut it down to an inch. Well, the next inch now will be all green that grows. So you're going to have an inch of brown. You're going to have an inch of green. And then you want to, let's say, you're going to maintain it at two inches. And so you're going to have maybe uh, it grows up to two and a half to three inches at most. But that'll all be gr mostly green, right? And then every time you mow, um, you're not going to have any of this brown stuff anymore. It's just all going to be green. Um, and assuming you stick to the one-third rule, right? You can't let it grow back up to four inches because then if you do cut it back down uh, to two, then you're scalping it again and it'll be brown. And sometimes people will scalp it in the summer, like you go out on vacation, uh, the lawn gets out of control, you come back and it's really tall, you're forced to scalp it. But what happens is, again, if you want to maintain it at two, so let's say my neighbor, he, he's going to decide this year he's going to keep it at two inches. Well, right now, if he mows it down to two inches, he's going to mow and he's going to see one inch, two inches, This is what he's going to have. He's going to have brown. And then he's going to come back a week later and he's going to mow down to two inches brown. All year long, he's mowing down to two inches brown. So you got to scalp that down below where you want to maintain it. So then you have nothing but green blades exposed. And then every time you cut, you're cutting into those fresh green blades, right? So if we look at my lawn, my lawn right All right, so if we take a look at my lawn, my lawn's been maintained, or not maintained, it's just had its first first cut, but it's going to be maintained at six tenths of an inch all season long. It was scalped down to 45 hundredths. I would go lower, but I just really couldn't because it kept hitting dirt. I'm not, my lawn's not super even. So the lowest I could go was 45 hundredths of an inch. Going to maintain at six tenths of an inch. So this is what it looks like at six tenths of an inch. It's probably grown a little bit since I mowed it yesterday and I'll mow it again tomorrow. But what I want to show you is underneath right now you still see brown, right? So my, my grass is only six tenths of an inch. Let's find a good spot. To... You see how thick that is. And again, you can kind of tell there. So let's mowed, uh, my mower's set at six tenths of an inch, and you can kind of see that's already probably getting close to an inch. Um, but two thirds of that is, is also brown. So only the tips, only the very tip, even at this height, is going to be green. And so that's why you want to scalp it down as low as you can possibly scalp it. That way, whatever height you maintain it at, it's going to be just nice, new, fresh green blades all season long. All right, so the last thing we're going to look at is kind of what my lawn looks like as far as green wise compared to uh, all the neighbors. And sorry, neighbors, uh, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. You guys are doing just what the normal homeowner does, right? So, but but I'm going to show a few houses in the neighborhood uh, and what their lawns look like under the same temperatures, same rainfall, uh, all that stuff, and just show you the difference between what scalping will do to speed up your green up, right? That's what everybody wants in the spring is to get green as quick as possible. And that's what scalping is going to do. It's going to make your lawn greener than everybody else in the neighborhood. Uh, and, and that's... So you can see uh, this gentleman cut his yard yesterday for the first time this season. And so my neighbor over here. So this lawn was also cut yesterday for the first time this spring uh, and you can see um, all that's exposed is brown and the only way that he's not going to deal with this brown all year long 
would be he would have to maintain this height of cut about an inch higher than right than what it's at right now so that's already three inches so he'd have to maintain it at four and he may very well be planning on maintaining it at four uh, but that's that's really the only successful outcome and so you can see over here uh, this lawn is very well maintained but again mostly brown and so we come back over here and we look at my lawn and my neighbor's lawn and you can see the drastic difference uh, my neighbor also uses a real mower, real mower and he uh, maintains down right near half an inch probably pretty close to what i'm at and he actually maintained it all winter at that low height and so he actually achieved a better green up than I did this year just because we didn't really have any heavy freezes and so you can kind of see just uh, how green we are you know really compared to uh, everyone else in the neighborhood again it's not because anyone's doing anything right or wrong it's just a matter of scalping down low to achieve the results that you want to achieve